Guys, this is a little distracting. <laughs> hey guys, and welcome back to Loti Fun. So in today's video, we are going to be doing a makeup tutorial. And this is the look that we kind of came up with. I felt like doing something very pink today. <laughs> so I did like a very... Oh, my chair is making noises. <laughs> I felt like doing just a very pink look, pink eyeshadow, a lot of pink blush and highlight and pinkish kind of nude lip. I might look like a clown, but you know what? I had a lot of fun doing it. So we were just going to say that this was really good. It was great. So yeah. So if you guys are interested in how I achieved this look, then please keep on watching. And without further ado, let's get started. So for today, I'm going to be doing a very pink, pinky kind of look very pink like a lot of blush pink lips pink eyes i'm just gonna try to go very pink without looking horrible we're gonna see how it goes to start off i'm going to be doing my foundation and i'm gonna be using the glamouflage full coverage foundation in the shade 1501 it's basically just like a lighter shade. So I'm just going to be putting that all over my face just to kind of have like a full coverage kind of look. Going for like a very full coverage look. And I'm just going to take my beauty blender and just blend all this in. Now that I have that pretty much all good, I'm going to be taking my concealer from ultra beauty and i'm going to be focusing this on my under eye area and also on my lids just to help prime it for the eyeshadow later next i'm going to be taking my elf uh, prime and stay finishing powder in the shade fair fair light and I'm gonna be taking my foundation brush and just coating this everywhere. I'm just going to be putting this all over. Next, we're going to be moving on to my eyes and I'm going to be using the Revolution um, Ultra Beauty Blush um, Kit. And it just has, whoop, it just has these beautiful um, pink colors. And since we're going for a pink look, I just really wanted to use these because I don't really have a lot of like variety whenever it comes to um, pinks. I'm going to be using these blush things today. So let's see what we got here. Taking a big fluffy brush, I'm going to dip into this shade right here. It's just like a very natural kind of color and I'm gonna be using this as my transition shade. And I'm just gonna put it all in the crease also gonna really put it into the inner part right here as well. Also gonna kind of go outward a little bit more with this because we're gonna be doing a wing. So I wanna have like a lot of shadow going on here. So now to go into a little bit more of like the pink shades, I'm gonna be using another fluffy brush, just like a little less, a little less fluffy, but a little more dense. And I think I'm gonna go into this pink color right here it's like a light bright pink <laughs> and i'm going to focus that just on the outer corner then i'm also going to mix it with this color that we put up here just to add like a little bit more pink to the look i normally do not do like big and bright <laughs> But I was in a pink mood, so I was like, you know what? Why not just have some fun with it and just see where it goes? Because <laughs> I don't know, I'm not a makeup artist. I really don't know what I'm doing. Just having fun with it and gonna see how it comes out. Next, taking an even smaller brush and it's a little more dense, I'm gonna be dipping into either this color or this color. I haven't decided which one yet. I think. I think I'm gonna go with this brighter color first and we're gonna see how that turns out. And I'm just gonna focus that just on the outer corner. 
bit brighter than I wanted it. I wanted it a little bit darker. But let's do the same thing on this side just to kind of match. So taking that exact same brush, I'm gonna get all the color off of it. And I'm gonna dip into this darkest shade right here, the darkest pink shade they have. It's kind of like a little maroon kind of color. And I'm gonna focus that right on the tip edge over here. I'm also going to take it and I'm going to kind of drag it just a little upwards. Okay, looking all right. Next, I'm going to take my finger and I'm going to dip into this very shimmery light pink color right here. And I'm going to put that on my inner corner area. And I kind of make it like a very subtle cut crease here. Just like very messily doing that. I'm gonna take this brush that we use and I'm just gonna blend it. This is the one that we use for like that brighter pink. It's looking pretty good. Next, I'm going to take a flat brush and I'm going to dip into this shade right here. And I'm gonna drag that underneath my water lash line. Just like that. Next, I'm gonna take just a very flat brush and I'm gonna dip again into that very bright shade. And I'm gonna use this as like an inner corner highlight. I'm just gonna like really focus it, my inner corner. Ooh, that actually looks really pretty. Next, I'm going to take just a clean brush and I'm gonna very lightly just dust underneath and on top. And I think that's pretty much it for the eyeshadow. Next, we're going to move on to a wing and I'm going to be using, again, this Tarte eyeliner. I tried it um before and i'm still not very very used to it but oh well i'm gonna give it my best that's probably not even but we're just gonna deal with it <laughs> i'm also gonna take a little bit and just go right underneath and just smudge it out with my finger i am not the best at wings but we're just gonna deal with it. So next I'm gonna be doing my mascara and I'm gonna be using this one from Maybelline called The Falsies. And I'm just going to coat my upper and lower lashes. Oh man, I completely forgot. I wanted to curl my lashes. <laughs> well, I'll maybe curl them afterwards. I mean, I've done that once before. It kind of clumped my mascara a little bit, but it gave me like a curled lash look. So, we'll see. A little bit got on my lids. <laughs> I'm just going to take a clean brush and I'm going to fix that because a little bit got on my lids. And I'm going to wait for the mascara to dry before I attempt to curl them. <laughs> okay, one step. I forgot to do this before I did my bottom lashes, but oh well, we're gonna try to do it before. I'm like forgetting a lot of stuff today, y'all. <laughs> my bad. But I have this white eyeliner and I'm going to be putting that on my lower water lash line. Like see like the difference that it made. I really, really have been enjoying doing this lately. So now that that is done, I'm going to take my pink <laughs> eyelash curler and I'm going to attempt to curl these lashes just to kind of give them a little more swoop. Okay, so now that my eyes are done, I'm going to add some more blush, some blush to my face a little bit more color to my skin because I need it <laughs> and I'm gonna be using the Maybelline fit me blush and it's just a very nice pretty pink color a lot to the apples of my cheeks and one up and then also I'm going to drag it on my nose as well just to kind of give me like a sun-kissed kind of look I'm going very very pink today <laughs> And then I'm also going to drag it downward as well, just to kind of give me like a rosy cheek kind of look. I'm also gonna add it to my forehead. Not a lot, just like whatever is left. Just kind of adding some color up here. Also to my chin. Told y'all we're going pink. <laughs> I'm probably going to look like a clown after this, but that's okay because I'm just having fun with this. <laughs> and then we are not done yet. I'm gonna take the same blush brush and I'm going to dip into this lightest color that we used for um, part of the eye. And I'm going to very, very lightly dip into it. 
and add that just to the apples of my cheeks. And also whatever is left over, I'm going to dust on my nose. Woo! Looking very pink. <laughs> Next, I'm going to take my contour brush and I'm going to take my bronzer from Lumi. It's from L'Oreal, but it's from Lumi. And I'm going to add a little bit more color <laughs> to my skin. That way it's not totally just white and pink. <laughs> and now I'm going to just dust it off and I'm going to run over all this pink <laughs> that I did. You guys, I forgot to do my eyebrows. <laughs> I'm gonna quickly do those and I'll be right back. Guys, do you know that saying that says your eyebrows are sisters, not twins? That's definitely it for my case. <laughs> I have it to where like, I love how this eye looks, but then I love how my eyebrow looks on this side. And I'm just like, <sighs> I did this one like a little too thick, but you know what? We're just gonna roll with it. <laughs> so continuing with the face, I'm going to add a little bit more color. I'm going to be adding some highlight and you guys guessed it, I'm going to be using my Lumi Match um, highlighter from L'Oreal. I'm just in love with this. I tried to do other highlighters and I just, I, I can't. I mean, it's just, I'm too in love with this one. And I'm going to add it to the apples of my cheek just to give it some glow. Oh, you guys, I feel like I'm looking like a clown. <laughs> And of course, add it to my nose. <laughs> and yet again, taking the contour brush, just gonna brush over everything, make sure it's nice and blended. Okay. I don't know what color to do my lips. <laughs> oh, okay. I have like a light color that I think will look good if I can find it. Oh, where, oh, where has my lipstick gone? Oh, where, oh, where can it be? <laughs> that was on cue. First, I'm gonna put a little bit of lip balm on because I can't go without lip balm. Okay, for starters, I am going to be using this lip liner in the shade Nude from Color Spell. I used this one before and I can't remember where I found it, but I'm just going to line my lips. Just like that. Then next, I'm just going to be putting a gloss over. This one's from Nick, New York Colors. But it's a plumping lip gloss and I love it a lot. I think it looks good, right? Does it look weird? I don't know, I'm not a makeup artist, so. <laughs> All right, that's pretty much it for the face and I'm going to be spraying it, like setting it with my rose water from Heritage store. It also can be used as a primer, it says, which is really cool, but I forgot to use it at the beginning. So this just works. <laughs> Let's put on some hoops. <laughs> so this is pretty much it, you guys. So I really hope that you enjoyed it. And if you did, please give it a humongous thumbs up. Also hit that subscribe button so that you can join the Low to Fun fam. And I am still trying to grow my channel. I am so grateful for ah, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> grateful. For. I'm so grateful for any new subscribers, which I got a new subscriber today. Thank you so much. It really does mean the world to me. It put a smile on my face, put me in a great mood and made me want to do a makeup tutorial. I don't know why. <laughs> But anyways, I really do appreciate any of you guys, any of you guys's. I appreciate any support. So I am really thankful for you guys. Thank you for my subscribers that I do have. Um, I just really enjoy making videos and I hope that it, they are entertaining enough for you guys. So yeah, if you have any ideas, just comment down below. I will take any ideas. I'm trying to grow my content. That is pretty much it, you guys. I really hope you enjoyed the video and I will catch you guys next time. Bye.